Have you ever heard of inconspicuous consumption? I ran into a nightmare while I was walking up A1 Avenue looking like a cross between an American Old West gunslinger and a sewing machine needle. I was just about to cross 100 years and visit the last century when I saw a gigantic mouth diving from the sky with its jaws chomping like a piranha's. I ran straight for the knowing snapping turtle, grabbed the world off its back, and swallowed it like a pill. The world, not the turtle. You see, all eyes were on the gargantuan mouth, and not one witnessed my unremarkable feast, my inconspicuous consumption. I will regurgitate the world, but I need to wait until the mouth monster devours all of the fashion designer clothes, diamonds, high-end watches, luxurious cars, silverware, and pet jewelry. We don't need these items. We use them to display our wealth and income, real or imagined. This is conspicuous consumption, and it gags our ears like cloud-sized cotton balls, and these balls are bigger than the ones we glued on the blue skies we colored over and over and over. In addition, the houses we rendered back in those days weren't mansions. They were Cape Cod cottages. So we must sacrifice our unessential stuff in order to survive. Can we do it? The nightmare will continue if we don't. And it will only get worse because if you think it's going to be a mess when I heave the world, wait until you see what it looks like when Big Mouth blows chunks. Bling bling, next stop, fresh kills. Would you like to supersize that?